Tja, für den Scheißfilm war Mac 2 gar nicht so schlecht. Vor allem mehr Action als in dem Spiel hier. Also, was war der letzte Stand? Irgendwelche Vögel fliegen die Aliens durchs Weltall. Mission? Ab nach Sardonia. Noch looten? Nee, kein Bock. Mal kurz den Planeten angucken hier. Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to becoming a vegetarian. Zum dritten Mal sagt ihr das. Nicht tot der Felsen hier. Was haben wir da? Eine Höhle, unknown. Ah, Abmarsch, würde ich sagen. Bisschen Silber. Hm, nee.
Ein Kilo zu viel. Komm. Long time since I've been dropping off a few choice items. Until later. Nee, mitkommen. Kleines Päuschen machen hier. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Hä? Haben wir doch gerade mitbekommen alles. Mann, Mann, Mann. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survive. Hello, Captain. Commencing item exchange protocols. Hmm, das ist auch voll bis zum Rand. Return soon. Lifting off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Tja, keine Ahnung. Oh, nice. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations distractions and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel the discovery class starship frontier back home in one piece i guess i'm still technically borrowing it from constellation even if i have no intention of actually giving it back take all take all the resources so kind of oh, so this is mine shit yeah Store all resources. Quest item. Mist, das habe ich ganz vergessen hier. Sechs Ist das echt schon nach Weight sortiert? Also wieder die Waffen. Drei Packs.
Ground Crew, was ist die wert? 2000. Thermal? Hm. Erhalten. Tausend. Und ab die Post. Check out your ship's inventory. Ja. Schafft das die Kiste? This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course Oops, while we scan for shit. contraband. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. Hmm. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. Tell the story. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Also alles, was ich bisher gestohlen habe, ist weg. So sieht's aus. Look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Ha. Huh. You're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? United Colonies System Defense. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. 
UC Seastead is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Oh, was. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. Not for me, for yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sysdev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. When you broke the law, you forfeited your rights. So basically, I can do whatever the hell I want. So, what do you say? You going to work with me? Or should I find someone else? Hmm. Yeah, that's mom. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Let's go. So, it's a the op instead of serving the time. Gotta be the commander's new role, huh? Don't make it all alone. Infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Still, it makes you wonder. This much go on. I will move. Einfach an den Computer, ne? Nice. Ich schon mal vor, ich klaue noch euren Shit hier. Keine Kundschaft. Ups. Excuse me. Ein Problem. Let's go. Move it. 
Requires what? Computer? Uh -huh. Ach komm! Oh, euer Feuerlöscher. Danke. Condé's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Yes? What? Hey. All right. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Oh, Kaffee. Den nehme ich mit, Kollege. Yes? The fleet call us sharks. Mm, ist klar. They know what happens when we see red. Hm, mm, aber reingehen ist doch. Schön in die Zentrale gelatscht. Hm. Fünfzig. Lauter coolen Shit habt ihr. Ernst. Zack. 
Ist das ein Feines? Steht ja gar nichts dran. Your priority right now is being briefed oh. by Commander Akande. We'll talk later. I believe we have something important to discuss. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdev's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. <laughs> hmm. That's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. On Vectera specifically. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost. I'm surprised you don't remember. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information. Yeah, yeah. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going... Ach, was. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the trade authority in Sidonia. Ah, so you're using a fast. container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. <laughs> That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Kein Problem. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. <laughs> Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, They'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Yeah, up here. Eager to get going. Good. Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. <sighs> Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Hmm. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. The vigilance. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. Mm -hmm. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. 
For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. Hmm. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. I'm not advocating violence. I'm merely urging you to weigh the consequences before you open fire. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. You have your orders. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. If there's fleet out there, we'll find them. Okay, hello. <laughs> yes? Vigilance is our flagship. Where it goes, fleet run. Pardon. Good day. Schöne Schiff habt ihr hier. Nett schlechte Hütte. Ich will mal ausleihen. Wenn ich alle wegpuste. Wahrscheinlich nicht. Excuse me. Sysdef Marines are the best of the best. Komme ich an den blöden Schlüssel? Den brauche ich. in some quartier. Commander Iconde runs a tight ship, so I suggest we be on our best behavior. Yeah, well, I'm a bit busy at the moment, but we'll talk later, okay? Oh, Deskwan, 200. Danke. Ist dein Schlüssel hier abgelegt, der Kollege? Nee, so blöd ist er nicht. Zack. Hm, mal gucken, wie weit wir kommen.
Der ist zu schäbig für den Captain hier, oder? Ja, jetzt musst du dein Schiff. Keine Ahnung, wo der hin ist. Excuse me. Tja. Dann gehen wir mal ohne an den Locker zu kommen. Break? Docking Force und Break? Ich suche einen Computer. Wer <lacht> hm. ja, kann der Computer nicht, oder? kurz einen Schrank durchsuchen. Sonny. Chill rein, verdammt nochmal. Sidonia is an industrial town. People there tend to be by. Du bist auch keine Hilfe. Edle Ports hier. Was bist du für ein Typ? Kandis auf Level 2. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. So, noch ein letzter Versuch. Computer check. Lauf. <lacht> Sehe ich da irgendwas? Ist nur ein Desktop auf der Kiste. Okay.
Lieutenant Toft will continue the briefing. Hey. Das klingt noch nicht. All right. Aha. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Rationalize <laughs> it however you like, but that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No, it's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. <laughs> I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. Nicola. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. <laughs> it's compensation for your efforts. <laughs> uh. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia, make contact with Searsha Bowden, and with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate. <sighs> yeah. Maybe. No. No. <laughs> it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private. Let's just. Stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But uh maybe we can talk about it some other time. Okay? We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Yeah. We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them. Ah, if you're feeling particularly nice. ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation. Nie well, I don't think I need to. Mit dem Container, den würde ich gerne behalten. Ja, wehe, mein Schmuggelkoffer ist nicht mehr an Bord. Dann gibt es echt Ärger. Kann man eigentlich Taschendiebstahl? Kann man nicht, nichts klauen, schade. Vielleicht in dem mal. Schleicht, ne? Yes. <lacht> Hello, hello, yes, yes, you want to buy carpet? Yes, golden rings. Hello, hello. I don't know about you. Ah, yes. You might, but we aren't.
aren't at that point yet. And right now, I have my reservations that we'll ever get there. Dude, hey, my Junge. But if Commander Ikande says your sis, you guessed it. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call Fogo. But I'm not just any pilot. I'm the best, and I've got the kills to prove it. Na zweitbester. Haha, <laughs> circles around here. I like your confidence, and there's always room in the squad for another apex predator. Just be sure you know whose side you're on. Long story. I got my start in the academy and made a name for myself hunting the Crimson Fleet. I eventually got recruited to do test flights on a star station orbiting Loyden's Rock. Me and three other Archangel pilots did some work on some extremely dangerous prototypes. But I called in a few favors and got back home with Sistef. Someone with my talents needs to be here, where the action is. I cut my teeth on space trucks, believe it or not. Before I got my stripes, I was just another cargo hauler trying to earn an honest wage. But after a couple slick escapes, I got recruited to the academy and went from dodging pirates to hunting them. Thing is, some of my best tricks were with a big rig. Ever try a pitch back with a Hope Tech truck with two fleet wraiths on your tail? Compared to that, doing it with a military fighter is a piece of cake. Can I what's that? Ich muss los, Großmaus. So long. Na, Alexa. Können wir nochmal mitgehen lassen? Nix. Okay, komm, wir hauen ab. Where to next? Ach was. Das ist also der feine Tock, den wir angeschraubt haben. Nice. Mein Koffer ist weg, ihr Schweine. Boah, fuck, ihr fiesen Kerle. Kann nicht wahr sein. Mir fehlt einer oder was? Okay. So das Ausrufzeichen. Bisschen Gewicht abbauen, ne? Nope. Wow, es hat Spaß. Autos zu bauen. So, noch kurz in die Küche gucken hier. Ups. Scheiß eingesammelt.
Construction Station. Lecker, lecker. Tja. Ist ja blöd. Das ist nur aus dem Inventory raus. So, da mehr als genug Shit haben. Mann, Werkzeug immer an den Platz zurück. Hm. Super Value, ist mein Koffer da? Boah, die haben echt alles geschlagen und die Schweine. Egal. Hm. Wie viel geht da rein? 40. Hm. Okay, das war mehr. Ne. Also ab die Post. Wohin? Alle Tasks für Nassadonia. Ab geht's. Show Map. Set Course. Set Course to Mars? Oh ja. Ab zur Erde. This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Schon wieder. Tatsächlich die Erde. Der Mond. Wow. Komplett am Arsch. Hm. Okay. Oh, wow. Pole. Also, los geht's. Sehen, ob der ganze Schmord auf den Elon Musk noch rumfliegt irgendwo. Ach, 
clouds for an entire year, and I'm convinced I'll never get used to the dusty air. Do you require my assistance? Ja, komm mit, Junge. Nee. Goodbye, Captain. Wow. Uhu. Blei, blei, blei. Wo ist Sarah Morgan? Ist klar. Ich willkommen geheißen. Keine Security? Komisch. Die Kiste, die liegt ja auf, ihr Vögel. Who's your Rambler? Das hier eigentlich links. Resources, ist so. Ah, hab ich mir gedacht. Schrottkiste. Ja, eine ziemlich coole Schrottkiste. Oh. Mit dem Ballert. Es geht ab, ihr Vögel. Statisten. Das muss doch eine Waffenkiste sein hier. Oder eine bessere eine Kammer. Das ist alles so liebevoll gebaut. Ja, 
Ja selber bei mir so geht. Hässlich. Ha. Hässlich. Hässlich. Das ist eine kostende Pot. 60k. 90k. Ich mein Big Mac umbenennen. Oh, DHL oder was? Wow, und 50k die Schüssel. Ich mal los, ciao. Keine Sorge, ich bin jetzt hier. Oh Mann, Kisten. Welcome to Sedonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself and head of the program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony war. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. Goodbye. Der Computer ist kaputt, Junge. Wird gemacht, Kollegen. Gib ich da noch an. Hm, hm, hm. Mein Shit oder was? Ja, meine Mac Components. Hä? Kommt denn das hierher? Wow. Da muss ich leider ran, Kollegen. Also weglocken. Sorry. What do you mean there's no work? Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were told there were jobs. 
Look, 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 I get it. But we just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. Possible, they may not extend them. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Hey, hey, I get it. But there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Come on, forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. Damn it! Have you got the look of a miner about you? School this. Maybe when the new contracts finally open up, you'll give it a go. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sedonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous, if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Hmm. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. 
We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Got another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But. <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I'll let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Yeah. I'll get your point. And maybe he's not gonna get found. I'm out the cash either way. I want him found. I do. All right, I give up. Ha, Just kind trying of to earn a living here. That's all it tells. Time he was here, my wearer kept yelling about the lady of love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Hmm. So Venus. I could never leave these people behind. Their continued success is my life's work. Worker Hello, satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. Taking their psychological concerns into account has played a part in that. It's probably yeah, yeah, Golden Girls. Do I know you? <laughs> How odd that we both thought we knew each other. I'm Leona Hawks, Deimos Staryard's corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some point. 
I suppose I'll be seeing you around. We've been contracted with the UC for decades to provide military-focused crafts for the entire fleet. It makes sense that they trust us, as Deimos is the oldest standing ship manufacturer in the settled... We were responsible for some of the major advancements in grav drive technology since the early days of its existence. I coordinate between Deimos Corporate and the other operations, such as the Star Yard itself, and the mining operations here on Sidonia. Deimos Star Yards Corporation is a complex entity, given that the different divisions have different goals and priorities. My job is to make sure those are all in alignment. Have a good day. While I may take the got more than enough work to continue for any voice, I've got more than enough work to come back before I can go home. Go me. Just pass my life. Alles sauber. Okay. Take care of your shit. Could end up costing you otherwise. Aha. Warte. Mann, 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 ich sitze aus hier. the same go show no mercy leave no quarter hey darling you look like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty the trackers alliance can always use more bounty hunters to round up and kill wanted criminals if that feels like your speed talk to me or check out our posts on the mission boards So, you're fixing to take yourself on a little bounty hunt. Well, look no further than the Broken Spear. The Trackers Alliance posts jobs on the mission board over there. Big old console, can't miss it. Now, look, much as I'm itching to get back out there and take down wanted marks on my own, I can't help you any more than that. So, don't come crying to me if you can't hack it, you hear? Good. Here's the short of it. I'm only stationed here because I made a mistake, killed the wrong bounty, and the right one got away. It's bugged me ever since. Now, I heard rumors that this no-good, dirty quarry's been lurking around Mars, but I ain't had the good fortune of him strolling on in here. I think he's smart enough to know better. I got a plan in place to find him, but I gotta prove to my other tracker contact that he's here. That's where you come in. Just gotta plan a sensor. No danger to you. He doesn't know it, but he's got a chip in him with a unique ID. Part of the reason he's learned to keep out of the major cities and settlements. Trackers always manage to find him when he comes to town, so he just stays away. But he's a slippery fella. That's why I want to send someone to catch him where he feels safe, just along the outskirts. 
sensors tuned to that ship. Makes sense now, don't it? Yeah. Ken Plakis, smuggler, the worst kind. Deals in all sorts of black market goods. He's wanted for grand theft, human trafficking, murder, you name it. He's also extremely good at what he does. He's eluded the best of UC security for years. He's even slipped by our own trackers, myself included. I'm convinced he set me up to fail, found a look-alike to unwittingly take a fall, made me look bad. So I'm sure you understand it's kind of personal. All right, so you're going to want to take yeah. this here sensor and put it way up at the tippy top of the old Mars launch pad tower where it's nice and unobstructed. You're going to want to make sure you've got a boost pack to help get yourself up there or else it's going to be a tough climb. Mars gravity's on the low side, but not that low. It'll track down my Mark's chip signal, assuming he shows, and I'll call in my partner to take care of him. Clear out and come back to me as soon as you're done so you don't spook the quarry. Get it? Got it? Good. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on fumes. It's hard not to worry when your spouse is the one doing all the hard work down in the mines. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my best friends. Not to get all sappy, but I lost a son in the war. It's been 20 years, but it still makes my brain a bit swirly thinking about it. Just never got to say goodbye, you know? That bugs me. So I come here to try and get peace. Joy and Horus? I think they get along well enough. Sure, they argue, but that's a good thing. Disagreement's healthy. What good are your beliefs if you never have to defend them? See ya. Go to Mars, they say. The bay is great, they say. So is the <laughs> crippling depression. What if we could find a home? Being a miner is dreary. Being a mining executive is just bleak. If you need a quiet spot to think, the community center is a good place. I lived a pretty quiet life to start, but the quieter things got, got into trouble, did the whole teenage rebellion to her, that sort of thing. <laughs> Dad used to say I was made reckless by boredom, but I think he deserves some of the credit. I came to do a little good old fashioned soul searching. You'd think it'd be easy to find, given it's my soul, <laughs> but nope. Turns out it's a lot harder than it looks. Later. Ah, it's a condom. If you know anyone in need of food or shelter, please send them my way. So the Sectum Universum so will provide. Honest work, good pay. Greetings, my child. Is there any assistance the Sanctum Universum can offer you? Very well. Please accept this gift in peace and prosperity. Blessed is the Lord, for he giveth to those less fortunate. May I assist you with anything else? Perhaps you would be kind enough to stay and hear more about our beloved Holy Creator. We can stay and listen if you like. I find theological discussions to be quite interesting. The Sanctum Universum will always be available to you, if you wish to know more.
Then please, go in peace. The Sanctum Universum will always be here if you need us. How's everything with you? Faith be with you. Never forget. Yeah, There's must... nothing humanity can't accomplish through science and working hand in hand with one another. Boah, wir sind ja nur gestörte. Can you believe people used to think the nearby mountains were fake on the surface of Mars? Ja, muss leider mit mir Kollegen. Boris ist good people. But I prefer Joy's line of thinking. You got to find your own way. Someday, I'm going to take this business to the stars and turn it into something big. Hi. Welcome to Jane's. Sidonia's only 100% independent one-stop shop. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but please let me know if there's anything I can get for you. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock... But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods. But he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. If all else fails, I'm probably going to, but I'd rather not. That ship? I bought it from a sketchy <laughs> dealer, because it so you see the problem with contacting Sistef. Really? I mean, thank you. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. Must in. people out there I wish I could help them but only someone could help me hi I'm Renee and I'm so <laughs> bored my mom and dad say not to talk to people I don't know so I thought maybe I could talk to you and then I know you and I won't be so bored you anyway what do you want to talk about not really I mean there's Taiye he's a good friend but he's also one of my only friends there aren't many kids on Mars because my mom says that this is really only a place where people come to work hard jobs for a little while but I wish there were more kids because it gets boring, like when Taiye is busy and my mom. I like to play with Taiye sometimes. 
We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes we listen to music or watch shows. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Sometimes I draw things and give them to people since they're so mopey all the time. It makes them smile. Actually, wanna help me? I just drew these great pictures of Space Frog, but I can't go out right now. Can you help put them up for me? Yeah, they've let me do it before, but they're working, so they can't help me do it, and I say it's for my safety, but my friend Taya's mom sometimes lets him go out without her. Uh -oh. It's Space Frog from Outer Space, and he's a little frog character that I made up. I've never seen a real frog before, but I've seen pictures. Anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people. You will? Thank you, thank you, thank you! People are gonna be so happy. Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Thank you so much! Supposed to be like luxurious condominiums? Ha! Huh. If you ask me, I find them to be rather underwhelming. Nicht gerade ein Hit. Had a good sleep to Venus. Just put the pictures up where you think lots of people are going to. Sidonia, you gotta be tough. Hey, uh, who are you?
nice to meet you. I hope you like it more than I do here. I'm Taye. I live here in the condos. Sorry, I don't, I don't usually talk to strangers, and I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just worried about my mom. She gets sad all the time, and I just want to help her. She's been that way since my dad died. Only, she doesn't like me talking about to other people, so I probably shouldn't. But you know what? Maybe you should talk to her? She says she doesn't get to talk to too many other adults much. Maybe talking to her would help? I don't know. It's worth a shot, though. Right? I don't know. I guess we just make up some games? Usually, I just hang out and talk with Renee, since she's close to how old I am. Sometimes, we go to the community center, and they have stuff to do there. Like crafts, movies, music, and other activities. But, except not when the adults are having a meeting. Renee calls them sad meetings because everyone seems so sad in them. I asked my mom what they were, but she says it was something to do with drinking. And like, I've never gotten sad after drinking water, so I don't know what's going on. Nah. There's no school in Sidonia. My mom says it's because everything's so packed together, there's no room. But also, there's almost no kids here either, so it doesn't make sense to have one. Instead, we learn remotely. It's cool, I guess, but it'd be cooler if I got to hang out with more kids my age. Like, my friend Renee is fun to hang out with and all, but I think she probably feels the same way. Having a real school would be nice. Later then. Hmm. An Arki. Hey, I've been seeing you around here. Best not be looking for trouble, right? I've seen some karate videos. Ugh. Don't tell me my son Tai invited another stranger to come talk to me again, did he? That boy means well, but he's gonna drive me crazy someday. No, no, it's okay. I don't leave the condo much. It's nice to have another adult to speak with. My son means well, and I know he's just trying to look out for me. My husband, his father, isn't with us anymore. It's been hard ever since. He is. I'm doing my best. Thanks for stopping by to chat. Oh. Don't tell me my son Tai invited another stranger to come talk to me again. Hmm. That boy means well. No, no, it's okay. My son means my husband. He's he died in a mining accident a few years ago. It wrecked me. Here I was, stuck on Mars. I still haven't really recovered from that. I don't really know what to do. When Keith died, Demo settled with us. Per the settlement, they agreed to buy this condo and allow us to live here rent free until Tae turns 18. Finding work that I can do as a single mother here on Sidonia has been almost impossible. What little money we do get from the settlement every month goes directly towards what we need to live. To be fair, Demos provides us with a sustainable lifestyle. They take care of health expenses, food, and more. Hmm. 
Now? Nothing. I haven't worked in almost ten years, not since we moved here for Keith's job. I had originally been offered a job here at the local Galbank branch as its manager. But not a week before I was due to start, they announced that the Sidonia branch was to be fully automated instead. It was never meant to be permanent anyway, but then when Keith died, I needed to take care of Tai full time. Not many jobs here for a, a single mom. Tai is good. He obviously misses his daddy, and he's bright enough to understand the situation we're in. He keeps talking about how he wants to get a job and help move me out of here. He's a good boy. I don't know what I'd do without him. I just hope he doesn't have to get a job in the mines. Aye, aye, aye. I couldn't stand the thought of losing two of my guys. There's somebody call us bring last night. Oh, oh my. Are you sure? That's my gosh, it's so generous. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to put it away into savings for Tae. Maybe we can afford a better education for him or get off this planet someday. Then he won't have to work in the mines like his daddy. Thank you so much. If I can ever find a way to repay you, I will. How incredibly kind. I'm continuing to learn things about you. Good things. You're truly lucky to have a friend who shows such generosity to a total stranger. I'll never forget this. Not long to get to. Sometimes you've got to make your own fun. Sure, shy someone. Must just not make clown. are going to love those new drawings of space frog it's okay i guess it's better but maybe it would be nice to i think i used to when i was a real little kid and sometimes my mom and dad would take me to visit my grandma and grandpa in new atlantis bye bye be with you. Crimes at an all-time low around Sidonia. Boah, oh, kein Glück mit Mars. Froschbildchen aufhängen und Kohle ausballern. Runter? Private drinking establishment, vets only. Are you now? Tell me, how many missions do you have under your belt? Bars for real veterans, not cadets playing dress up. <laughs> Glad we understand each other. Vogel. Clown.
Jetzt. So, ist dein Kühlschrank offen, Kollege? The Red Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. Kommt denn der gelaufen? Na gut. Do yourself a favor and just go. Not supposed to talk to me. Hm. Na gut. Ist hier irgendwas? Nope. Watch out for the robots. Sometimes it feels like the UC forgets we're out here, but there'd be no UC if it hadn't been for Mars. simply won't find a politician who works harder for his people than I do. Hello, dear. Mm hmm money. How's it going? Can I help you? Aha. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because... Rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. Oh man, no, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, UC. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought it. They pay my salary. So as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Cool. That's what we do here. Puh. Das ist ja so unsexy.
drink back whiskey. Nice. Wow. Ein Schweißknall. No Obst dann. Also. Das ist ein Muni. Stay good out there. Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes sometimes. Glad to haul whatever you need. So. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Next time. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off. So either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. <laughs> yeah. 
You must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged. Even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you oh, climb your way up. Oh, my. I'm gonna a caller. Well then, we have nothing left to discuss, do we, love? Be seeing you soon. Good work with the bartender. Won't be the last time you'll be hustling information in some space board. You bring me that finder's fee, or are you here to waste my time again? Operating heavy machinery while under the influence is dangerous to yourself and those around you. Please always drink responsibly. Hmm. Well then, we have... Als ze moet hier woont. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? We got lots of stuff. Just ask. Come back anytime. You're helping me. Hi. Thanks for doing that for me. I wish I could do it myself, but having a... I know, right? Last time I did this, lots of people came over to tell me how much they loved it. I only hope these drawings stay up longer this time. Anyways, it's not much, but I got a little something for you as a thank you. <laughs> Nice. You look like you need a hug. I like hugs, but not from strangers. I think they'll really like them. I mean, come on, you've seen Space Frog. Maybe this time, people will like my drawing so much. Oh my gosh, what if they're there forever and people like him so much? They make him a real Space Frog <laughs> car. See you later, alligator. I heard you put up Renee's drawings. Pretty cool. When I get older, I'm gonna work in the mines like my dad did. So I can save up and buy my mom a house somewhere nice. You did? Wow, that's... That's pretty cool of you. I'm sure she really appreciates that. I know I do. I didn't know people just did that sort of thing. When I grow up, I'm gonna try and find someone else who needs help like that. And give them money, like you did. I guess some adults are cooler than I thought. Bye. I want to go off. I just went what's best for my boy. Hmm. Was passiert, wenn ich hier den Alk wegnehme? you are doing. I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> it's been years since the Stayard accident took Heath from us. Never gets any easier. <laughs> oh, welcome back. I know he does. I just wish... Thanks for the check. 
Nichts passiert. Jawohl, perfekter Ort für eine Pause. 